For years, the world trusted the official story. Comets come and go slipping silently past our sun. But on July 1, 2025, the discovery of 3 chi slash atlas shattered that calm. The James Webb Space Telescope was meant to unlock the secrets of deep space, not to find something alive moving between the stars. Instead of cold rock, it uncovered regulated heat, pulses like a heartbeat echoing from within. Unexplained light, impossible signals, theories collapsing as secret files multiplied. If what James Webb found in 3Twi slash Atlas is truly alive, the consequences could reshape everything we know about life, control, and cosmic intent. So why are the most critical answers locked away? And what comes next when the unthinkable stares back at Earth? 3. I slash Atlas did not slip quietly into the record books. Its arrival sent a ripple through the minor planet center where orbital dynamicists pored over the incoming data. The first measurements were clear. Perihelion distance, about 1.36 astronomical units, eccentricity exceeding 1.07. This was no local wanderer. Its path was hyperbolic, a clean escape trajectory from another star. The object's inclination nearly 164 degrees meant it was moving retrograde, cutting across the solar system's traffic like an intruder with no regard for planetary order. Within hours, the MPC issued the official interstellar designation, 3I. The odds of finding a third such visitor so soon and with such extreme parameters were vanishingly small. Yet there it was, tracked by ATLAS from Chile, then confirmed by telescopes on three continents. The James Webb Space Telescope was quickly brought into the fold. Suspended at Lagrange Point 2, Webb's NIR spec instrument was scheduled for August 6, 2025, targeting the object as it brightened past magnitude 17.8. The tracking solution, refined by a dense series of astrometric points, left little doubt. 3 I slash Atlas was moving too fast and at the wrong angle to belong to the sun. It was a messenger from the deep. As the data streamed in, the numbers held steady. No gravitational capture was possible. No planetary encounter would alter its course. The official record was set, an interstellar object, confirmed by trajectory mathematics, now under the gaze of humanity's most powerful telescope. But even as the orbital facts settled, the first hints of something stranger began to appear in the light. The first thermal maps from Webb's Mirai instrument arrived in the early morning hours processed by analysts who expected nothing more than a cold, inert core wrapped in a thin veil of gas. But the data refused to cooperate. Instead of a random scatter of heat, the maps revealed a single, concentrated hotspot, steady, sun-independent, locked to a fixed position on the nucleus. Over a series of exposures, the intensity of this hotspot didn't simply fluctuate with the comet's rotation or solar distance. It cycled. Every 67 minutes, the emission peaked, then faded, then peaked again, as if some hidden regulator was pulsing beneath the surface. Natural outgassing is chaotic, driven by sunlight striking volatile ices at random. But here, the rhythm was precise, each pulse separated by nearly the same interval, never drifting more than a few seconds over hours of observation. Analysts checked for instrument error, cross-referenced with ground-based telescopes, and re-ran calibration files. The pattern persisted. No known comet or asteroid in the solar system has shown such regularity. The heat was not leaking from a sun-warmed patch or erupting from a vent. It was radiating from deep within. Following a schedule that nothing natural should obey, as the plotted graphs filled the lab screens, a new suspicion took hold. This was not the signature of sunlight or cosmic rays. It suggested something else, something that might be regulating its own energy, hidden behind a veil of ice and dust. The search for a simple explanation only deepened the puzzle. The first NIR spec spectra arrived as a cascade of colored peaks and valleys. 
each one a fingerprint of the material beneath three I slash Atlas's icy veil. The data team expected the muted, chaotic reflection of dust and frozen gases, typical for a comet. Instead, the reflectance curve sliced sharply upward at precise angles, a specular spike so clean it could only come from a surface as polished as metal. Light didn't just scatter. It bounced in a narrow beam, modulating with the angle of solar incidence as if the object was sheathed in something engineered to catch the sun. Material science consultants, brought in to rule out instrument error, compared the spectral lines to every known comet, asteroid, and meteorite in the laboratory libraries. Nothing matched. The elemental signatures were incomplete, missing the broad, noisy bands of silicates or organics, but showing narrow, unidentified lines at wavelengths where no natural mineral should respond. Even the best analogs, rare metallic inclusions in iron meteorites, failed to explain the intensity or purity of the reflection. One consultant described the surface as too perfect, too uniform, a phrase that echoed through the lab as the team replayed the data. The NIR spec plots repeated the same verdict. The object was not scattering sunlight like dust or ice. It was reflecting it as if from a mirror with a precision that defied comet models. And as the sun's angle shifted, so did faint narrow band emissions, signals that flickered just above background, hinting at a hidden order beneath the chaos. Each new dataset tightened the circle, pushing the question from anomaly to artifact, from nature to something that might have been made. Encrypted message traffic spiked the moment 3i slash Atlas's narrow band emissions were cross-matched against the radio background. The initial radio scans meant to rule out interference instead revealed a triadic pulse structure, three sharp bursts, separated by exactly 19.3 seconds, repeating with machine precision. SETI analysts, accustomed to the static of cosmic noise, found the intervals unnerving no known astrophysical process produces such regularity at these frequencies. The pulse pattern was logged, flagged for immediate review, and then vanished from the open database within hours. A whistleblower inside the agency, voice disguised and identity redacted, described a midnight directive. All raw signal data from the James Webb pipeline was to be routed into a newly created encrypted vault. The order carried a code, 47-X, never seen in standard data embargo protocols. Even senior astronomers were locked out, forced to sign non-disclosure agreements under threat of federal penalty, while the public tracker for 3i slash Atlas went silent. SETI's transmission logs told a different story. On August 9, 2025, at 0317 UTC, a targeted message was sent toward the object a sequence of mathematical primes designed to announce intelligence. 72 hours later, to the second, the triadic pulse returned, this time modulated with a subtle phase shift as if acknowledging receipt. The odds of such a coincidence, SETI operators whispered, were beyond calculation. Behind closed doors, the debate fractured into two camps, those who demanded immediate disclosure and those who insisted the world was not ready for what might answer back. The signals continued, encrypted and unacknowledged, leaving only a trail of redacted logs and digital static. At 412 UTC, every photometry lab tracking 3i slash ATLAS recorded the same impossible spike. The light curve leapt 40% in under two minutes, a surge so abrupt, so clean, it left even the most seasoned analysts frozen at their screens. No comet, not even the most volatile, has ever unleashed that much energy in such a controlled burst. The flare's onset and decay were razor sharp, with no precursor, no trailing afterglow. As if someone had thrown a switch, automated alert systems flagged the event as a possible instrument error, but cross-checks from Chile, Hawaii, and the Canary Islands confirmed the numbers. Observatory staff replayed the data in silence, watching the flare repeat across every filter, every wavelength. For a moment, 
the object outshone every star in its sector, then faded back to its calculated baseline, leaving behind only the raw, undeniable signature of something that had just awakened. Radar stations in Alaska and Spain flagged a deviation in the object's path just minutes after the flare subsided. The shift was not gradual. Orbital analysts measured a delta of 0.18 kilometers per second, enough to nudge 3I slash Atlas off its projected escape and onto a new trajectory, one that would intersect Earth's orbital plane within weeks. The course correction was too precise to blame on random outgassing or solar wind. Within hours, defense tracking networks recalibrated their predictions, issuing confidential bulletins to allied agencies. Simulation showed the object's new vector was not only intentional, but calculated. Time to exploit a gravitational window as it crossed the ecliptic. No natural comet, not even the most volatile, has ever demonstrated such controlled navigation. The data left a single, chilling conclusion. Something was steering it, and the world's early warning systems were now watching in silence. On July 1, 2025, the ATLAS survey confirmed 3 i atlas as only the third interstellar object ever tracked in our solar system. Within weeks, James Webb's NIR spec and MIRI instruments detected heat pulses and a reflective surface unlike any known comet documented in the official Minor Planet Center records and JWST instrument logs classified documents labeled code 47-X showed that encrypted data and structured radio pulses were recorded, and a two-minute 40% brightness flare was observed just before a deliberate trajectory change toward Earth. Yet major findings, such as the full spectral analysis and SETI's 72-hour signal timeline, remain locked in encrypted archives, with no release date announced. Today, scientists confirm that 3i slash Atlas does not fit any natural model, but the intent behind its actions and who or what engineered it is still unknown. The facts are clear, the official record has been broken, and the world faces questions no one is ready to answer.